So, we got an alert that there is a natural gas leak in the city. And these people don't know where it's coming from. And I didn't smell it earlier. Definitely smell it now. I just got to my warehouse and that's what I was just now showing you it's over there but um <laughs> the pros and cons about renting out a space when it's still under construction Pro is you get to pick, you get first dibs. I was one of the first clients. Actually, I believe I was the first client um, to sign my lease. And there are two other people, two other businesses on the same side as me. Um, one company has moved in and the other is still renovating their space. See, I moved in before my, before my space was finished because I refused to pay rent at my other two spaces um, for another month. So I just saved that money and moved in here fast. Um, another con is I got a walk all the way around well technically i didn't but i don't know how long i'm going to stay here today and if i'm here after five o'clock i can't walk through the actual building because the alarms are on and i have to go out through my dock door um there aren't a lot of people that's another pro that's the other building over there that building um, has plenty of occupants. Ours doesn't. Um, another con is it's dirty. So they are still doing a lot of renovations. So it's dust and dirt everywhere. I mean, everywhere. I mean, and I guess another con would be that I don't have access to my space um at all times it's just monday through friday right now from nine to five unless i go through my dock door which is hard but yeah they're trying to get it together trying to get it together But you see how the floors are changing because they're not done. stuff in the halls and the area where my space is is dark and it's dirty inside it's not dark and dirty um i don't think i'm gonna open my dock door immediately because of the gas smell and i think that might be why they have this dock door closed to my unit 
And I got a lot of stuff in my unit because, see look at how dirty it is. I got a lot of stuff in my unit because, you know, I'm still getting organized, so it's still messy in here. There's stuff everywhere. But I'm getting together. You know what? I think I'm gonna leave my door open because it gets hot in here. So, yeah, I typically leave it open and turn the fan on. But it will be done soon. I just gotta figure out where to put all this stuff. It's my little work table where I'm cleaning and taking pictures of stuff and listing stuff. But yeah, y'all, I got a lot of stuff. A lot of stuff. Blah, blah, blah. And I'm still waiting on the electrician to come so he can put in my other electrical outlets. Like, I still got stuff in bags that I haven't even touched. It looks a hot mess in here. I didn't realize it looked this bad. Well, I did realize, but I've actually made a lot of progress because, honey, when I tell you, it was worse. Oh, that stuff was on the floors too before I got my shelving. I gotta photograph those shoes. That's why they're out like that. I gotta photograph them and bag them. Um, I gotta get my tables in. I've been having the hardest time finding the proper size tables. And then I have to get some a cabinet in here as well. And once I do that, I have to do the tile or the carpet in that area and this area is going to be closed off all those racks are going to be over here so that's why i gotta clear all this out that's my desk i gotta put together that is my office chair y'all my hands are ashy don't mind me i wash my hands um clear chairs are for the clients they're going to go on that side with the desk in my office chair but I got a lot of work to do a lot of work y'all this is crazy 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 I got a number the bins <sighs> that's a lot but I'm gonna get through it I am going to get through it I gotta keep telling myself that Today, I think I'm going to try to clear out that area as well as get some more stuff listed. But yeah, let me get started. <laughs> 